in the past, I tried challenges or fitness challenges like running two miles a day for 30 days, walking a certain distance every day for 30 days, certain number of exercise every day, which is good. I mean, you have structure, you have a plan, stick to the plan, you execute the plan, and then you have a result. It worked really well for trainings also when I was training for my 5K, my 10K, and I really loved the outcome. But the problem with these challenges is that most of the time you finish your challenge and you're hoping that the habit will stick, but the habit never sticks. Maybe it can stick for a week or two, but slowly you start falling back to your older habits. Previously, although I had plans almost every week for two hikes where one of them is pretty strenuous, pushes my body, and then another one just casual during the week, I started noticing, especially when I got my tracker, when Alex gifted me a tracker when I, when I was running and preparing for my first 10K, I started noticing that there are days during the week where I am stagnant. I am barely moving. And it's not just one day. One day, two days, sometimes three days during the week, especially with working from home. And that is not good. Now, a lot of things changed since then. I left my home in California, quit my job, and I started traveling full-time. And it's been three months right now of full-time travel. And you would think that with full-time travel, you'll be more active. You will be walking, you will be exploring, seeing new places every single day. Sure, there are days where you are walking a lot, but there are also days, just like in normal life, you are not walking. You have to take care of laundry, you have to run errands, take their take care of some chores, clean. And those days, I still end up with barely any steps. So I was thinking to myself, while I'm traveling the world, what is the one thing, what is the one thing that I can commit to every single day? No matter what's happening, no matter where I am, what is one thing that I'm going to stick to and that's not gonna drive me nuts, <laughs> and I decided that walking 10,000 steps every day is going to be it. Uh, today is one of those days where, you know, it's pretty late in the, in the day, 6 p.m. here in France, in Paris. And the whole day I was at home. I wasn't having the best day yesterday. And so it kind of impacted my day today. But still, I had to drag myself to go for a walk and make this video. But honestly, now that I walked 10,000 steps every single day for 30 days, I am noticing so many things. So many things are changing. Starting with the, my mood, negative thoughts, they are slowly fading away. My mental health is in a better place right now since I started walking every single day. I do have rough days just like anyone else when I'm on the road and I feel like just by way of saying, you know what, today I'm not gonna be inside. I'm gonna drag myself, go out, smell fresh air and walk the steps because I am committed. I am committed to walk 10,000 steps every day. And that one little change in your daily life can make a big difference. Now, 10,000 steps is about five miles a day. So you should be willing to, to put some time. And uh, honestly, I've been finding that the earliest I can do it in the day, the better. But there are some days where you just have to do it. And 10,000 steps, that's accomplishment. That's the other thing. It even gives you purpose. I know it's, it's a small deal, but uh, every time, I see the ringtone on my watch that I reached my goal for the day. It just brings me so much joy to my heart that I feel like, yes, there is one thing on my list, one thing today. No matter how I felt, no matter how my mood was, no matter how the day was, whether it's raining or snowing or hailing or whatever, we reached that goal. And that even helps with, uh, with self-esteem. I feel more confident, feel like you can get things done. And uh, it makes you feel better overall.